Is that going to be like fruit trees or like fruit bearing bushes and or berry, you know, berry yeah, bushes? Yeah, I've just been planting some um, uh, nanny berries and uh, Siberian pea shrubs and I have bounty plums waiting to go in the ground. Um, we have a lot of um, edible dogwood, sugar maple, um, northern pecan, chestnuts, Papa. hazels, persimmons. These are either in the ground or waiting to go in the ground as I get to them. They're right out here. <laughs> and um, But we will have some non-edible windbreak. We're, we're hoping to move some large evergreens and cedars to, to give us a little instant windbreak because uh, it's going to be a lot easier on us and the plants I'm trying to get established. Well, <coughs> the, uh, the cedars that y'all would be moving in, would y'all be like considering them to be a stack function of like being like a small source of like uh, kindling or firewood as well? In other words, like when they grow bigger well, than Well, we eat the wall? juniper berries, you know, <laughs> we make tea out of them. My grandchildren love eating those little blue juniper berries. The cedar it, it, it's the eastern red cedar. It's a, it's pretty slow growing, so um, while it's a great wood, um, you know it's, you're going to have to be extremely patient before you're going to get firewood or building wood out of it. Although what we have done, they cut a lot of trees, a lot of cedars, maintaining the trail around Fairfield, and we'll go and gather up the cut trees and bring them back here and use them we've used I've used them in building uh, we've burned it and we've also used it just to create habitat you know a, a cedar often has a really big skirt and so you put that just in the grass and you've created a place for birds and mice and who knows who to uh, hang out 